oh boy 10th edition is in full swing and you know what that means terrible design and balance changes that do absolutely nothing for months and naturally this leads into what i ask myself every time i want to play a game at the game store or now on tabletop simulator what army out of the gray horror do i want to play and is it finally gonna get painted we all know it's not gonna get painted but since the recent band-aid fix uh, sorry i mean data slate change all it really did was just increase and decrease point values and literally change nothing about the top tier armies besides custodies jesus christ straight to bottom tier also don't forget to like and subscribe along with telling me which army from your gray horde you're gonna main for 10th edition because all hail the algorithm now the first army i have to choose from is my dark angels army which is the most flushed out of all my armies <coughs> Excuse me, I mean the most painted of all my armies. So far, I have played a grand total of three games of 10th edition since launch day. One using my Dark Angels army, here is a list if you want to use it. It has of course been slightly modified since the point changes. Overall, the initial list performed really well and Space Marines seem like they will be the most average of all factions because, come on, Space Marines, the poster boys of Warhammer, when will they not be average? But since I've kind of been playing Space Marines all throughout 9th edition, I honestly might not play them as often, but I kind of want to play something different. This different was going to be Carcharodons, but we all know what happened with the only HQ Carcharodons had going to Legends. Still going to finish that Tyros kit bash though, and as I'm saying this, I realize Carcharodons would not really have been much different from Dark Angels because just a different flavor of Space Marines, but Space Shark flavored. Next is my Imperial Knights army and I'm still kind of on the fence about playing these because they were in a good spot before the data slate changes. I will however agree that towering needed to be changed but some of the changes they made just put knights back to 9th edition or even worse since big knights can't overwatch anymore aka feels bad man I now have to spam armorgers again to even have a chance. Next army is fairly new and you would know what it is if you're in my discord which is linked down below or you occasionally swing by my live streams. I stream every week, four times a week now here on YouTube. But I am working on a Custodes army and this is the army I will most likely play this edition because I've always kind of had a soft spot for Custodes because of if the Emperor had text to speech, rest in pepperonis. Honestly, the only Custodes units I'm missing are some Forge World specific units, unless they announce Plastic Sagittarium and Calidus tanks sometime soon because when the f is the Calidus Annihilator gonna go back in stock? It's been over a hundred days. And yes, I have been keeping track. I already have one grab tank. I just need that annihilator. Please, for the love of God, Lord's World, please restock it. But I'm also probably going to issue a challenge to myself to finish my custodies by the end of the year because less model investment and this progress will of course be live streamed on YouTube. Also, custodies was the second and third game I played this edition on Tabletop Simulator with Ickbard. If you want to see how those games went, check them out on the live tab or click this link right here. I also do plan on playing more TTS games on stream in the future, at least probably two games a month. But since the data slate changes, I honestly feel like GW has no idea what they're doing. Case in point, the devastating wounds are no longer mortal wounds, which bricked Custodes detachment rule, which gave a feel no pain against mortal wounds. Also, yes, I know it was a bit oppressive to use the 10 man brick with the Vexilla, but come on, man. Our only effective units were the 10 man bricks that cost a fourth of our army point cost and the tank that's also never in stock. Seriously, when the f is it going to go back in stock? Because the new custody strat is literally yeeting our custodian up the board and hope we don't get dumpstered on in the process. And before you ask what shield host I'm going to be painting them as, it's Shadow Keepers. Also, here's the list I played if you're too lazy to check out the past live streams. Now that I think about it, I also might make a video on GW's history of balance changes. Let me just put that on the ever-growing list of videos I need to make. And finally is my Tyranid army with two Leviathan boxes, probably soon to be one. The Nids might honestly be on the back burner or I might just sell them all off like I did for my Necrons. And also it takes a lot longer to paint and assemble a Horde army. And it's also considerably more expensive. In all honesty, they might be my pet project army if I don't just sell them off because I'm not really a fan of having to paint, assemble, and transport hundreds of miniatures. But with the recent pile of shame video, I realized I need to stop with the FOMO because I already have years of content literally sitting right in front of me, which is why I also skipped out on the recent Space Moon releases in favor of just getting my Knight Akron and finishing off my custodies. Seriously, where the fuck is that tank? Also, I know some of you are going to ask if I at least got the new Terminator Chaplain. Well, no. I don't like him at all. He looks a bit too bland for my taste for a Terminator Chaplain. And honestly, he 
just looks like the bike chaplain decided to eat the bike. And congratulations, now you can't look at the Terminator chaplain normally ever again. You're welcome. But that's all the armies I currently have and will probably play at some point during 10th edition. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what army you're going to play or are you going to start a new army for 10th edition like I have. I have also recently opened up a show off your army channel in my discord because I'm going to be doing a community army review stream within the next few weeks. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video and want to see more, you know the basic YouTube shtick. Like, comment, and subscribe for our overlord the YouTube algorithm. Well, I'll see you all in the next video, but remember, being poor is a choice. Okay, bye.